the building stuff. That's a little better. So we're a little, we're getting there. Now these two settings that I actually just changed. Relaxation is sort of how smooth your mesh is and tension is sort of how sharp it is. So they kind of fight against each other. Um, Tension is a real touchy, touchy um, setting though. So you got to be careful with that. Now we're going to sort of stop here at filtering and we're going to go up to a couple other settings and underneath your mesh under your object itself we have a field setting and this is blend factor and radius. Radius is how how close this mesh is to your particles and blend factor is how much they sort of stretch in between. So we're going to turn this down. Let's go to 80 and I'm going to leave the radius the way it is. So let's go ahead and let's build this. That's new, not too bad. Now we're getting sort of closer to uh, what I want. You know, we're getting a little tighter to our particles. Um, let's go back in and sort of just, let's drop down our filtering size to 0.3. And let me rebuild that. All right, well, that's getting a little better. Now we're sort of getting looks a little nice and tighter to our, our particles. We're getting some interesting stuff going on in here. Um, now the last thing I want to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn on, we have two sort of stretching deformation of these particles and we have speed flattening and speed stretching. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on speed stretching and I'm going to put this to about 0.8 and I am going to rebuild this. That's looking better. So now what we're getting is we're getting some sort of, as the particles are faster, they're sort of stretching a little bit, and that's sort of what I want. Um, I actually want to move to somewhere else and just sort of check when we're sort of first particles come in. Let me just build this real quick. That's not too bad. That's sort of this might be what I'm what I'm after here. So you do get um, a lot of now you can see this. This is a lot sharper to our particles. I mean, it's a lot closer to our particles. That initial mesh that we ended up with was just so big and bulky around these particles. So there's a lot of things that you need to play with. So just keep in mind, you know, this is sort of smoothing it out. This is sharpening the edges. Underneath here, uh, blend factor is how much uh, this mesh is going to stretch to each particle. And radius is how the radius around your mesh, that your mesh goes around your particles. So if you change with a lot of these, I mean, that's sort of what your, uh, those are sort of the settings you need to go into and set. So our last thing that we would do is we would just simply back up. And now we would go up to this last little button up here and we would hit build meshes. And what this thing is going to do is it's an automatic script that runs and it's just going to go and it's going to build me a mesh for each of my uh, particles. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let this go through. And then the last thing is we're just going to bring it into 3D Studio Max and sort of take a look at it. So we'll pause this till we sort of get everything going here and I'll be right back. Okay, our meshes are finally done building, so let's just minimize this and we'll go back into 3D Studio Max. And actually keep in mind when you build these, uh, you know, even this little small project here, which is not a lot going on, the project folder is almost 3 gig, so you have to make sure that you have a lot of space on your machine when you're working on real flow, and especially if you want to keep projects around for a couple of days. All right, so what we need to do is we need to, in our real flow toolbar, go to create bin, create bin mesh object. So we're going to click on that. 
And what we're going to need to do is navigate to our project here, which is the lesson. And we're going to go into our meshes folder. And we're going to grab our mesh. Now, I had, I, there's two meshes in here. I need a zero 02. So I'm just going to click on any one of those. And it should bring me in on my mesh. And there's my wine. So let's sort of just take a look at this. And it is pretty high polygon. So we're going to get some. And that's not too bad. We're sort of getting you know, sort of what we want out of our wine. And we are pretty much ready to go. Now, there's a couple issues in this, and we did sort of rush through this. You know, you can't get every little type of thing down. Um, you know, like we have a little too much smoothness around this edge here. Um, so that would have to do with how we built our mesh. We would want that to be a little sharper. Um, but like I said, we did sort of rush through this one a little bit. But uh, it sort of gives you an idea of you know filling up objects, pouring objects in, building your mesh, importing them back into your 3D package. And uh, so that's it pretty much for this uh, tutorial. And I uh, hope it helped you out. Thanks a lot.